Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Gadigal people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to the Kids vs. Adults Bumper Holiday Squiz on the subject of the year in review. I'm Bryce Corbett. Right throughout the year in the Squiz Kids Daily Podcast, we've been bringing you the big news stories of the day, run through our kid-friendly filter to make sure you know all you need to know about the world around you. And at the end of every week, we've tested how much you've retained in the Kids vs. Adults Weekly News Quiz. But now, because it's the holidays, we're presenting a series of bumper Kids vs. Adults quizzes on a bunch of fun topics to see who's smarter, kids or adults. Plus, of course, because it's a Friday, we've got all of today's birthday shout-outs and all the shout-outs for the week ahead. Including, of course, the birthday reggae tune, because it wouldn't be a Friday without it. Here's how this quiz works. Ten questions for kids about the year that just was, then ten questions for adults. Whoever answers the most correct questions wins. Simples. You ready then? Let's do this. All right, kids, here are your 10 questions. Question number one, let's kick off with a sport question. The FIFA Women's World Cup was held in Australia this year and set the country alight. With the initials MA, what is the name of one of Australia's goalkeepers? Yeah, that's right, her name is Mackenzie Arnold. Question number two. All of Australia was thrown into a frenzy earlier this year as kids and parents everywhere tried to get tickets to the era's world tour of which artist? It was, of course, Taylor Swift. Who else? Question number three. One of the biggest movies of the year was Barbie, starring which Australian actress? Yeah, well done. If you said Margot Robbie. Question number four. A big vote was held in Australia this year in which people were asked to vote yes or no to the establishment of an Indigenous voice to Parliament. Starting with R, what is that yes or no vote called? That's right, it's called a referendum. Question number five. In the NRL, which team won this year's grand final? Was it the Brisbane Broncos or the Penrith Panthers? Yep, that's right, it was the Panthers again. Question number six. What's the name of the big international pop star, who used to be in the boy band One Direction, who played to massive crowds all over Australia this year as part of his world tour? I am, of course, talking about Harry Styles. Question number seven. This year, ABC TV did a countdown of the most popular Bluey episodes as voted on by the Australian public. Which episode was voted the most popular? Was it A, Grannies, B, Cricket, or C, Sleepy Time? That's right, it was, in fact, B, Cricket. Question number eight. In April, large crowds gathered in the WA town of Exmouth to witness a total solar eclipse. What passes in front of the sun to create this rare phenomenon? Yeah, of course, it's the moon. Question number nine. True or false? The Australian national netball team, the Diamonds, beat New Zealand to win this year's Constellation Cup. It is, in fact, true. Question number 10. Guardians of the Galaxy and Jurassic Park actor Chris Pratt dominated the movies at the start of the year when he provided the voice for which popular gaming hero, an Italian-American plumber transported to the Mushroom Kingdom? Yes, of course, I'm talking about Mario in the movie Super Mario Brothers. How did you go, kids? How many did you get right out of 10? Do you reckon you're going to beat the adults? 
Yeah, I reckon so too. All right, adults, now it's your turn. Fire up the grey matter. Here we go. Question number one. Back to the Matildas. What was the name of the Swedish coach who led the Matildas on their FIFA World Cup campaign this year? That's right, his name is Tony Gustafsson. Question number two. It was a big year for royals with the coronation of King Charles. In which iconic London location did the ceremony take place? Yeah, that's right, it took place in Westminster Abbey. Question number three. Turning now to Aussie politics, and Dan Andrews resigned as Premier of Victoria after how many years in office? Well done if you said nine years. Question number four. Which was the only state or territory in Australia to vote yes in this year's voice referendum? It was in fact the Australian Capital Territory, the ACT. Question number five. Barbie wasn't the only movie leading a box office revival this past year. Another movie was released at the same time about the man who invented the atomic bomb. What is his name and the name of the movie? That's right, his name is Oppenheimer, which was of course the name of the movie. Question number six. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese took a number of overseas trips in the second half of the year, including one to the United States to visit President Biden. And straight after, a visit to China to visit their president. What is his name? Yeah, that's right. His name is Xi Jinping. Question number seven. A woman was released from New South Wales prison this year after a court pardoned her following 20 years behind bars over the deaths of her four children. What is her name? Yep, well done if you said Kathleen Folbig. Question number eight. In November, large parts of the country went offline for a day after the Optus network crashed. What was the reason the company eventually gave for the outage? Was it A, a cyber attack, B, a systems upgrade gone wrong, or C, they forgot to pay the electricity bill? Yeah, that's right. B, a systems upgrade gone wrong. Question number nine. Still in the business world, a high-flying chief executive fell on his sword in September after a horror couple of months for his company including a run-in with the ACCC and claims they had a too cosy relationship with the government. What is his name? And the clue is in the high-flying descriptor. Yeah, that's right. His name is Alan Joyce. I'm talking about Qantas. Question number 10. The world went briefly mad in October when Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey went public with their relationship. What NFL team does Travis play for? Is it A, the Green Bay Packers, B, the New York Jets, or C, the Kansas City Chiefs? Yeah, that's right, it's C, the Kansas City Chiefs. How did you go, adults? How many did you get right out of 10? Did you beat the kids? Who won bragging rights this quiz? Well, that's the end of the quiz, which means it's now time for... Shout outs. It's Friday, December 29. Only two sleeps until New Year's Eve. It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today and over the coming week. And there's quite a few of you, so let's crack out the old birthday reggae tune. Hit it! And it's a happy birthday today to Arthur from Cardinia and Claire from Carlingford. And celebrating a birthday over the coming week are Asher from Orange, Indy from Oak Park, Bo from Tushikoi, Chloe from Mount Gravatt, Driti from Forest Lake, Ashna from Point Cook, Audra from Yapoon, Archer from Ladysmith, Arthur from Maidstone, Emma from Austinmere, Maxine from Kingsgrove, Barry from Nuriupta, Sam from Queensland, and Hihuan, who's listening all the way over there in Bangkok. Well, that's all we have time for. I hope you're enjoying these quizzes. Don't forget, there'll be a new one dropping first thing every Friday morning of the summer holidays. And the best bit... 
they're absolutely free. Just as our other excellent summer content is also free. We're talking about a Squiz Kids shortcut every Monday of the holidays, a Squiz Kids book club episode every Wednesday, and not forgetting our super excellent Squiz Kids Jokeathon. 30 minutes of unbridled hilarity as we count down the best jokes that Aussie kids have sent in. All of it perfect for those long family road trips or lazy summer days at home. Check it all out at squizkids.com.au or find it on the Squiz Kids feed of your favourite podcasting app. And remember, if you subscribe, all this excellent audio content will magically appear. For now, though, this is Bryce Corbett signing off and reminding you all to get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. (laughs) 